Welcome back everyone. I'll go and show you exactly how to enable the hand tracking mode on your Oculus Quest 2. Now luckily for you, it's a very basic process. Now what you want to do is make sure you have your controller set up on your Oculus in the first place. And then you want to go ahead and click on the Oculus button that's on the right controller and you can pull up your universal menu. Now when you're there, all you want to do is you want to hover over the clock that's on the left side of the universal menu. And when quick settings appears, all you want to do is select it and you want to open up your quick settings panel. Now you want to select this actual settings button that's in the top right corner and at that point you want to go and select devices from the left menu then you can go and select this little option that says hands and controllers now if you don't see that you will probably have to update your oculus quest 2 headset so again if you do not see that option just update your oculus quest 2 headset to the latest version and you should be able to see that specific option now the next thing is going to be select the toggle next now let's say you are able to see the hands and controllers and you see all that stuff. Well, the next little toggle you want to go ahead and enable is the hand tracking toggle. So what this will allow you to do is it'll go and allow you to turn it on or turn it off. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and turn the little option on. And from there, you can actually go ahead and have it auto switch. So if it sees your hands or not, then it can go ahead and, you know, automatically turn it on or off. Now, if this setting is actually on, it will actually go ahead and automatically switch between using your hands or your controllers. If you actually put your controllers down and you use your hands instead, well, it's going to go ahead and detect it and that's actually a really cool thing now if that specific setting is off then you'll pretty much have to manually go ahead and go back into your settings and enable it every time but personally i think having the setting enabled is actually really cool and it makes things feel so much smoother when you're actually using your oculus so that's pretty much how to do it if you have any other questions or anything like that let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that would be so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then